Hi, good afternoon. Um, I just thought I'd give a little update on um, my latest drone thoughts. And um, I've actually taken this out now on a proper uh, couple of flights. What a wonderful drone, it really is. Um, and the image quality uh, um, I'm just blown away by. Um, what a fantastic drone, you know. Um, a couple of days ago it was really lovely and sunny so I thought I'd take it take it out give it a good good fly and uh, <clears throat> God, it really is a wonderful drone and I got my replacement um, Mini Pro 3 but I think I'm going to send it back um, because I I can't see me wanting to use that over this I mean yes there's the limitations, but to be honest, where I fly it, I'm not really going to be that limited. Um, I mean, even if I wanted to fly it where I am now, which legally isn't correct, the chances of anyone noticing are virtually zero. So I, I, I don't even think that would be an issue, and I'm not recommending that we break the rules. But um, I'm going to talk about the rules um, because there are there has now been talk of new rules coming in. I don't know. I'm sure some of you may have watched Geeks of Arna's uh, video the other day, and uh, I think the main point I took from all this discussion with drones and the rules coming in uh, is the remote ID. Now. <laughs> What do you guys think about that? That to me is just, it's control. It's nothing more. You know, I've, I've been looking at the statistics on on um, drones and the amount of incidents I have, and they really are few and far between. You know, uh, damage to property. I, I can't actually find anyone where they've damaged property. The main there's quite a few incidents. If you look over, if you look at, go to a, a website called D Drone, um, and it shows you a list of all the incidents over the world. Um, there's quite a few in Dublin, funny enough, um, but there's hardly any here. And when and it seems that there was, there was one, but that was to do with a prison. Um, but it does mainly seem airports, military bases. And um, that's it, really. It, it's airports, military bases. And the military base ones are quite often people smuggling drugs or do, doing something far more illegal than owning a drone. So <laughs> it, it's, it's just ridiculous. And yet they want to penalise people for flying this. Now, I'm not being funny, but I don't know how many drugs, how much weight of drugs as that could take um look these people that want to uh, are are criminals you know they're they're, <laughs> they're criminals pals so they're probably criminals themselves and they're probably pretty high so they're not going to worry about passing a test on a drone uh, and I, what is the point of bringing in all these ridiculous rules because they will find a way to bypass them anyway. You know, they will get drones that don't need all this uh, registering and, and all the rest of it. It's just such a load of nonsense. And I really do wonder what goes through these people's minds. Because all you're doing is restricting normal people like me and you that just want to take your drone out you enjoy flying a drone, you enjoy taking pictures from different aspects or videos or whatever, or, you, you know, YouTube videos. Forget about the audits. Uh, they should be banned, in my opinion. And, I, 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 you know, I've got no time for these twats because that's what they are. You know, I've, I've watched their vid, some of their videos. It's all about comfort. It's got nothing to do with drones. They're just using drones as a tool to wind people up. Um, so, uh, and are they responsible for this? I, I think partially, possibly. 
I, I, I don't think they are completely without blame for wanting to bring more rules in. I, far from it. I think they have contributed. But I don't think they're the main reason. I think flying near airports, um, military bases, and I think criminals are, <laughs> are the biggest reason. But what I don't get is why are you punishing hobbyists for something criminals are doing. Um, and when you look at the major drone incidents, it, they're mainly criminals. You know, these are criminal activities. These aren't necessarily, you know, idiots, just idiots with a drone. So I don't think punishing the hobbyist or making life more difficult for the hobbyist um, it's really going to achieve anything. I think we've got enough rules there as it exists. You know, if if people are using these things for criminal activity, then it's up to the authorities to go and catch the criminals, not not bring in res more restrictions on on hobbyists or people that are for recreational or work purposes. I, I mean, that just seems ridiculous to me. It really does. And it still seems a relatively small number of incidents, it, um, even though, you know, it, it, throughout the world, there doesn't seem to me an, a major number of incidents to really start punishing everyone. So again, it's overreaction, a bit like COVID, overreaction completely. And uh, I just think it's, I think ever since COVID, the power has gone to people in authority's head. I think they were allowed to have so much power during that time. Now that we're seeing it in all walks of society, whether it be the ULES and everything else, people have thought, you know, they were given so much power during that time and they brought in a lot of things during that time that we weren't aware of what was happening. And they've... You know, this is happening throughout society now and they seem to be, want to bring rules in and regulations for everything you do. And I think we're going down a very slippery slope and I don't think this is any exception. Because, I, you know, hopefully they, the consultation, as Geeks of Arm was talking about, you know, they will come to some kind of sense. I don't think anything under a kilogram is going to cause any damage to anything. I don't even think that uh, a drone under this... I, I think that rule alone is nonsense. I mean, OK, this is quite right. This isn't going to kill anyone. It's not going to drop on the, out the sky. It's not going to drop any, on anyone's head. Um, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I only fly this in... You know, if it, it really isn't going to drop out the sky. <coughs> and I, I think here we go again we've got complete overreaction to everything and uh, you know it's not going to come until what 2026 so obviously it's no there's no urgency there um, so they obviously don't think drones are that much of a danger so I don't I mean it will be interesting to see what they do um, but it wouldn't surprise me if they say all drones, regardless of weight or, you know, you will need this, that and the other. And that may include, you know, your mini drones. I'd, I mean, who knows? I'm, I'm just guessing and, and making possibilities up here. But um, I, I don't think it will be for the better of the hobby. I don't think they will um, make life easier. For, for people to fly drones. But I, I still have to question, well, you know, I, I, the remote ID is, is, I think, a big a big thing because if they can honestly tell you, if they obviously have something in the drone that knows when it's going up, and they, they can control it. It's a bit like digital currency. They can control what you spend. With the, with the remote ID, they can control your drone. And I think we are going down very, you know, digital currency is in the news. There's a lot of very funny things going on. 
I warned about all these things a couple of years ago when the COVID come out. I was a conspiracy theorist, um, you know, and a nut job. Well, I think these things are coming to fruition, aren't they? You know, let's watch this space. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd give my opinions on these new laws. I don't think they'll be a good thing, What whatever happens, and I'm very suspicious of what they're going to do with them. Um, but we shall see. I suggest you enjoy flying your drone until such times as uh, we, we no longer can. Or whatever may happen, uh, we will see. But anyway, there you go. That's my point of view. Till the next one.